We have some absolutely crazy Shiba Inu news that just came out. There are whales buying massive amounts of SHIB. We also have some information about the Shibam network. You guys are not going to want to miss out on this video. Make sure you guys stay up to the end of this video for some important information about the Shibam network. All right, we got to start out with a kind of harsh reality, guys. Here is the current price of SHIB. You can see over the past seven days, we've lost basically 7% on the value of SHIB. When we look at the past month, we're down 18% this month. It has been a rough time for Shiba Inu. You might be wondering what has been happening that's been causing this. Well, in my opinion, in the opinion of a lot of other people, it seems like right now one of the big reasons why the value of Shiba Inu is dropping is because a lot of people are so let down with the launch of Shibarium. When we zoom out and look at Shiba Inu on a one-year chart, you can see something very interesting. On a one-year chart, we are down basically 40%. You can see these different spikes here on the one year. These are times when we got news around Shibarium. Initially, first discussions around Shibarium right in here. And then this other spike that we had, we ended up talking a lot. We got very close to the launch of Shibarium and then the launch of Shibarium, which ended up declining the price straight down from there. Because again, a lot of people are so disappointed. You might be wondering, why are they so disappointed? Well, we're going to touch on that for just a second. Before we talk about that, we need to talk about this amazing news. Let's talk about some good news for once, right? Let's talk about this great news with Shiba Inu whales apparently grabbing a hundred million dollars worth of shiba inu this is massive guys because the big thing that impacts cryptocurrencies we all know it whales control these cryptocurrencies whales influence these cryptocurrencies so strongly they manipulate the prices they do what they want if they're buying a bunch of the cryptocurrency they want the price to go up so we hopefully will see some news come out very soon that can make the price of shiba inu explode so apparently over the past week, large Shiba Inu holders known as the whales have accumulated around $100 million of the cryptocurrency according to Into the Block. And this is really amazing for us to see because we are seeing the price to drop, which is maybe where this whale manipulation is coming in, right? Maybe the whales are trying to get the price to drop so that they could be, have been buying the past week here with the price being down basically 20% over the past month or 30% over the past year. They've been probably getting ready for these big buys. So right now they're able to capitalize on this low price of Shiba Inu you, they're able to buy a bunch and hopefully we see something happen very soon. This article goes on to talk about why this timing is kind of interesting because we do have the launch of the Shibarium network, the layer two solution for the SHIB community, basically, or what's supposed to be for the SHIB community. Recently, this ended up surpassing 1 million transactions and wallets. We're going to talk about this because there's some interesting dynamics between how they're counting wallets versus active holders. So we're going to talk about that in a second here as well. But what's really interesting is that the price of Shiba Inu has not yet seen a substantial move, even though we have these massive whale transactions and we have the Shibam network. Again, so many people are let down by the Shibam network. And so this could be maybe these whales know something that we don't know. Maybe the Shibam network is going to fix these SHIB burns that we're seeing that are so low. Now, something that this article mentions is that the top 11 holders have a staggering 62% of the total SHIB supply, which ends up translating to 613 trillion Shiba Inu, which is absolutely massive. Whereas when we look at the broader pool of 48 investors, they only hold about 14%. So the next 48 only hold about 14%, whereas the top 11 hold 60%. So high concentration of holdings for Shiba Inu. But something that they're overlooking is when we actually look at the holders on chain for Shiba Inu, you can see these different holders right here. First of all, number one is the no wallet. We all know this. This is the burn wallet. This is the wallet where Vitalik ended up selling a bunch of his cryptocurrency to burn off, where other people are sending SHIB to burn off. So this doesn't actually count. They're they're kind of missing that point here. This is a burn wall. This is not an individual actually holding this cryptocurrency. Nobody can access this in the future. This is gone forever. And then when you look at some of these other holders, well, you have Binance, Binance, Robinhood. Binance is basically in Robinhood or a lot of their customer funds are involved in those holdings. Robinhood, a little bit different. Robinhood, they actually, I believe, hold some SHIB on their balance sheets, but they also have the customer holdings as well. So when you look at Binance, you look at these Robinhood wallets, these different ones, as well as if we scroll down a little bit further, you can see OKX, Crypto.com. You can see a lot of these different exchanges, more Binance, Gate.io. These are wallets that are holding the customer funds. So if you hold your Shiba Inu on Binance, if you hold Shiba Inu on Robinhood, it's in these different wallets. So it's not like these are individuals holding wallets or individual people who hold all this cryptocurrency. This is more diversified than it might appear. All the wallets that we do need to consider as actual whale wallets would be wallets like these different wallets. I haven't researched each of these different ones, but if you see wallet addresses like this that are not labeled, that don't say this null uh, before the wallet address, those are burn wallets. So 
if you don't see labeled wallets like these exchanges, you don't see a no wallet, these other random wallets are probably legitimate holders. The other thing to look forward to is this little symbol right here in front of the wallet. That means that's a smart contract. So for example, bridges, uh, different exchange contracts, liquidity pool contracts, those are things to notice as well. Those are not, again, individual people holding. It's a ton of people putting their value into something. Now, another big thing for the Shiba Inu community is the SHIB burns. It's something that so many of us have wanted for so long. We've been talking about people have got super excited about the potential as some people have been circulating the numbers 100 trillion shit being burned every single year now i gotta be honest with you guys i'm not sure that's gonna happen i don't think that's gonna happen that is so much value that has to be burned through sure yes it's possible but the odds of it happening i believe is extremely low what i think is more likely is us burning potentially a few trillion maybe one to five trillion ship it's not a ton of value, but it's something that's going to start making an impact over time. And I think that's something that we could start doing basically right now. I don't think we have to look forward into the future dramatically. I think it's something that we could actually accomplish right now. We could be burning millions of dollars, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Shiba Inu every single year. And one of the big things that people were hoping for with the Shibam network, why so many people feel so let down, including myself, is these ship burns. You can see these different burn numbers. Now something, if you guys have been following my channel for a while, something I've talked about is, yes, these numbers look low, but in theory, they're supposed to be adjusting this fee over time. Because we actually go ahead, and we look at the ship burns. We can actually pull this up for you guys right now. They outline that in these ship burns, you have this base fee and priority fee. The base fee goes 70% to burns, 30% to maintain the network. But this base fee, it's supposed to fluctuate over time. If the block is basically full, it's supposed to increase this base fee. And that way, and ideally, you're going to be burning more and more SHIB as the network becomes more and more popular. And I've been saying, guys, we need to wait for these numbers. We need to wait for this to be adjusted up. But unfortunately, I'm not as optimistic anymore. And the reason why is that when I started asking questions going, wait a second, why is this so low? Can we get some ideas as to what the formula looks like, right? If we end up increasing our volume, increasing the amount of people using the network by 10x, what does this do? Is this going to drop like two or three zeros? Because even if we drop one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different zeros, that's what we need to actually make an impact. If we go up and drop two or three zeros, you're still talking basically one one millionth of a penny being burned with every single every single transaction. That means if you want to burn a penny, you need one million transactions just to burn one penny worth of Shiba Inu. That is absolutely nothing. So for me, I've been telling you guys, we need to be patient. We need to wait for this updated information. But unfortunately, as soon as I ask for this information, I end up getting blocked on Twitter and I end up getting banned from a Discord. That is a massive red flag for me. If I ask a question, you could ignore it. People ignore it. Tons of questions come in. I don't expect them to answer my question. I don't feel like I'm any more special than anyone else in our community. I'm just another community member. They could maybe get flooded with different community questions. Maybe they don't answer my question. That's totally fair. But if I ask a question like this, and I just ask, hey, can we get an idea? What does this look like when we go up 10x, when we have 1 million transactions a day, 5 million transactions a day, 10 million transactions a day? Can you give us some kind of point of reference? And I end up getting blocked and banned? That's a major red flag for me. I'm sorry, guys. If you just ask a question, you should not be blocked or banned. Maybe, they, again, they don't answer it. That's fine. But don't go ahead and outright attack people. That's basically what you're doing. Now I have access to less information because of this. And so for me, that's really concerning because this needs to increase by 10 thousand x this needs to be a ten thousand x multiplier on these burn fees for this to make a substantial difference and i don't think that's going to happen i think what they're doing here is marketing these burns to us to try and take advantage of our community which really sucks i hate this and i'm fighting back at this guys we need to make our voice heard and increase these burns but even outside of this we are seeing the ship burns increase dramatically burns right now up 821 percent even without the shabam network and so imagine what these burns could be doing if we actually had the shabam network burning substantially amounts of SHIB, potentially thousands of dollars of the SHIB every single day instead of a penny of SHIB every single day. Regardless, we are still seeing these burns increase dramatically over the past 24 hours. Per the shibamburn.com, which I'm going to show you guys in just a second, 79 million SHIB tokens were burned by different users during that period, which is great, right? It's not going to get us to where we want to be burning you know, 100 trillion SHIB every single year, but this is great. These are people in the community burning their own SHIB, contributing to these SHIB burns, and helping us out with these different burn numbers, which is great to see. You guys can see this goes into a little bit more detail about these different wallets that burned off SHIB. This one wallet burned 7 million SHIB, another burned about 
uh, 700,000 Shiba Inu. So these different people are contributing. And what's so sad, guys, is that this one individual burning off 7 million SHIB, this other one burning 600,000 SHIB, that's basically going to equate to more Shiba Inu than the Shibarium network is going to burn in an entire year based on these low burn fees. Absolutely mind-blowing that we're even saying that, that a single user could just throw a little Shiba Inu away and burn more than the entire Shibarium network that we've been hyped for for months. Now, again, Hopefully this changes over time, but right now there's no transparency. And if you ask for transparency, you get blocked and banned from Discord chats, which is absolutely mind blowing. And it's not just me. There are dozens of other people. Since I went ahead, took to x.com and posted about this. I've had dozens of people reach out to me either publicly or privately commenting on that post or reach out in DM saying that they end up getting blocked. They end up getting banned for asking questions about the burn as well, which is just so sad to see. Hopefully we can make our voice heard either by going ahead and just being loud and let them know we need this change. We want to have this change or we start, maybe we have to resort to boycotting Shibam Network until they give us what they want. It's not costing them any money right now. You guys can see there's not really a cost that's going to be happening by giving us what they want. So right now the price of Shiba Inu is looking rough. There is no denying that things are not looking great for the price of Shiba Inu right now. But I want to remind you guys of something. Shiba Inu is here before the Shibarium network. Shiba Inu will be here after the Shibarium network dies off. Potentially, if they don't do what we want, it doesn't listen to the community, they're going to probably die off. We were here before, we'll be here after. The Shibarium Network does not make the ship community, we make the ship community. And we have some great news on the horizon potentially here. We could potentially make what we want to have happen. We could be potentially pressuring the Shibarium team into burning tons of ship. We also have these whales buying tons of Shiba Inu. Now obviously they still have faith in the future of Shiba Inu, even though the Shibarium Network is having difficulties right now. So just remember that, things are difficult right now, but hopefully in the future we can come back even stronger. We've been here before, we'll still Still be here in the future. We are a community that's not going anywhere. If you guys want to learn more details about the Shabam Network burns and how, according to my math, they're going to be burning about $35 worth of Shiba Inu every single year. Yes, $35 every single year. Make sure you guys go ahead, check out this video up here, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.